In the last 120 years, the world has changed dramatically. Populations have exploded. Two world wars have been fought. The battlefield has changed, and technology has advanced tremendously. Although the military defense industry has benefited from a multitude of exciting innovations, the firearm has seen little advancement. The last significant advancement in firearms is arguably uh, recoil mitigation, and it's also known as recoil attenuation. Uh, the idea of taking a lightweight weapon and uh, reducing the recoil through the mechanism rather than through the weight of the weapon. So it's, it's actually a mathematical, it's called constant recoil, and it's a math mathematical equation. The Chris uses a vector system where it angles down, and so it instead of you know a normal gun that reciprocates you know back and forth. The, the vector takes it downward and does a, a, a cyclic motion that allows you essentially to keep the gun on target and it the gun just kind of cycles that will just barely move in your hands and uh, I'd never seen anything like it before it's, it's really unique it's, it's new. Today modern combat has been shaped largely around advancements in computer technology. Computer technology has changed everything. It, it starts really with the design of the weapons in the first place. So everything is designed on CAD CAM and, and with computer software, and then weapons themselves are computerized. You have all precision warfare really is based on computerized weapons. You know, all the missiles, the targeting systems, everything today that we do to kind of save lives that are, that are non-combatant lives, it has to do with, with computer technology. Clearly, computer technology cannot solve all the problems in modern warfare. For example, a computer can't come up, with, uh, come up with a strategy to win a war. Neither can a computer or technology um, galvanize unity of effort, which is critical in these wars. And by unity of effort, I mean forcing the State Department and the Department of Defense and other organizations, as well as international partners, to work together. Those are all human efforts. It can be empowered and enabled by technology, but it comes down to a human endeavor at the end of the day. Chris has engineered the most significant advancements to the firearm in over 120 years. Chris technology reduces the risk of collateral damage and overpenetration while using high-powered stopping calibers like the 45 ACP round. Relative to our place in the industry, Chris is on the front end, being a young, young company, is on the front end of fulfilling our value proposition, and that is to bring more efficient and effective solutions to the small arms industry with regard to military and law enforcement applications as well as civilian use. Our particular weapon systems that we offer right now work into the close quarters combat, close quarters battle niche of, 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 of need within small arms. Chris, revolutionizing the firearms industry by providing solutions in the fields of recoil mitigation, weight reduction, and accuracy. When you fire a weapon today, you have a great deal of forces that come into play. The muzzle climb, vibrations, uh, recoil forces, all of these elements impact the accuracy and the efficiency of the weapon uh, when the operator needs to deliver fast and accurate shots uh, on targets. Integrating a Chris recoil mitigation technology by reducing massively the weight and the recoil forces that are generated while firing allow the operator to fire consecutively rapid shots with tight groupings on a target while also having a maximum control uh, over the firearm. On the individual fighter, reducing weight is, is critical because of fatigue and stress. Weight reduction can greatly improve the efficiency of a firearm. It um, allows the trooper to carry it further, obviously, if an individual is out there in the battlefield. It, and that trooper should have more um, confidence in the system he's carrying, ideally. If the system is an unmanned aerial vehicle or, again, a heavy vehicle, the, the range of the, the system will be longer, um, less resupply of fuel or, or other materials. Headquartered in Switzerland, Chris was established in 2002 the advancements made by Chris can be applied directly to the weaponization of light aircraft, helicopters and unmanned vehicles. The Chris system is specifically ideal for UAV platforms simply because by reducing massively the vibrations and the weight of the platform and channeling the recoil forces on a UAV which is a very lightweight platform that, that requires a, a minimum payload uh, as a weapon to be able to perform efficiently as technology advances, the need to put a soldier and innocent civilians at risk will become less commonplace. Improving the weapons on unmanned vehicles can save lives because you're taking the human being out of the process, so you're not putting your own people at risk. But at the same time, not to sanitize warfare to the point where we become inhuman or it dehumanizes the process. 
Chris is shaping the future of firearms. With regard to the design and manufacture of firearms throughout the industry at large, there's really been no shift uh, in the internal workings and functionality of weapon systems. You've got small changes in, in the way of ergonomics, trigger pull for example, sight picture advancements, but with regard to the workings of the, of the gun, there's been no real de developments. The Chris technology and what we bring to the table with regard to recoil mitigation, recoil reduction, weight reduction, target reacquisition is fundamentally going to change the small arms industry. Chris Firearms is changing the world of defense by using state-of-the-art technology to make the most advanced weapons in the small arms industry, allowing the use of heavier calibers on smaller platforms. Many envision a future where soldiers are able to more efficiently execute their missions while minimizing risk in the urban combat environment. Chris Arms Group is working to make that future a reality. For more information, visit www.chris-arms.com.